welcome to Read, Ram, Repeat. My name is Emily Balboni, and today we are going to be talking about the fifth wave. We are here today with our special guests, Noah DeGrenier and Bryce Hunt. Hi, everyone. Hi. So, spoiler alert, we are going to be talking most, mostly, obviously, about the book, and we're going to have tons of spoilers. So, if you haven't read the book, that's okay. Just go read the book and come back and watch this, and you'll be all set. So, let's get started. So who here has read the book and seen the movie? Um, I have read the book, but I haven't seen the movie, but I do plan on seeing the movie soon. Yeah. I read the book and saw the movie, and I liked both a lot. So. Same. Yeah, they were really good. And the movie is being shown at the Ventress Library. And if you don't go to that library, I'm sure your teen movie night at your own library will surely show it because it's amazing. <laughs> So the final book in the series, The Last Star, is coming out May 24th. Has, so you guys haven't read The Infinite Sea, have you? Nope, I've no, I've read the beginning. It's oh my gosh, the beginning. the beginning, we all we all read it for all of you who don't know. Yeah, it very, was awesome. It was, it was intense. In a, it was very intense. A baby intense. comes out of a plant. A baby comes out of a plant, yep. Yeah. <laughs> would you, like... Would you go back and read it again? Like I don't, I'm not sure I would want to go back and read that little part again. I feel like I just want to like jump right into the book to get the yeah. prologue. Well, if I already read the first beginning and it was something that kind of was disturbing and disgusting. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure if it was like obviously it was kind of a little bit disturbing, but I'm not sure if it was that disturbing. But if you know what I mean? Yeah, I do I know mean, what I mean. I mean, if you read it over and don't think a lot about it, then right. you're like, okay, that's fine. But when you think about it, <laughs> it <laughs> gets really kind of a plan. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Have any of you read any other end of the world books? So I know I've like I don't I read like the in, in um, Divergent series. I don't know why I'm saying Insurgent, but I've read the Divergent series. Oh yeah, I read that. That was really good. But I think my favorite was Monument Fourteen. It was like there was end of the world like disasters so like earthquakes and there was hail that was like huge and stuff and it was really good and that was a good trilogy that that was that's probably like my favorite trilogy of all time so yeah. that was really good it's like would this beat it do you think like once uh, you read the other two do you no, think no i think honestly up? monument 14 would beat this but i really did like the fifth Whoa. wave but monument 14 was like it's like my favorite of all time so okay what about you um I really like sci-fi. I like this kind of thing. It just interests me. But out of most of them, I think my favorite so far is a book I'm reading right now, The Testing. Um, I'm on the second book of it. It's a series. I really like it. It's about a government that's after the world was completely um, taken away of its resources and dried up and nuked. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> yeah, see, I like a lot of sci fiction too but I also like um like uh I don't know how to say the genre name for this one it's kind of like um like trying to survive and kind, like, kind of like that I guess I don't know I've read The Maze Runner I'm sure have you guys oh, read that yeah, too that yeah, really yeah. those were the good movie movies. was really good too yeah so I thought there were some similarities to Divergent like the simulations and the Uridites test and then oh. manipulate people Oh, with yeah. like the Wonderland jug and the doctors and they use and they both have like competitions. Like the fifth wave squads want to move up more, like the Dauntless trainees. And then do you see the similarities? Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like it was very, very similar in those ways, but the little details made them more Yeah, interesting. like I didn't think of that until now, but now that you say it, like with all the like virtual reality stuff like that, that yeah. is like a lot of like so now I have to ask your opinion, Insurgent and uh, Divergent or Fifth Wave and Infinite Sea? Fifth Wave. Okay, <laughs> now let me ask this, what relationship do you like better? Do you like Four and Triss or do you like Cassie and Evan and Ben more? Can Probably you choose? Triss and... <laughs> oh my gosh, what? <laughs> See, I like the storyline of the Divergent series, but I like the relationship here better. But the guy might be dead in the fifth wave because, like, we don't know what happened to him. That's the but thing. He could be. He's probably the thing. No, he's not probably. You he don't know. Dead. He's an alien. He could have come back or something. <laughs> it doesn't magic no. alien powers. 
He's Magic dead. alien parts. Yeah. He's Say, dead. He's, he's dead. not dead. He's dead. There's no proof that he is dead. But there's no proof he's alive. So there's no proof anyone in the book is alive except they're talking. I guess he could be somewhere. Like we saw. Where would he go? He went in the thing and then it blew up. He flew in. He the went spaceship. in there to blow it up. He didn't. <laughs> but then it blew up and he didn't come out. So we maybe, don't know if he came he out the fly. other side. We don't know if he was with sar the sergeants there who were already aliens. He could have escaped with them in the pilot in the but then helicopter. But they would have killed him. Why would they have killed him? He came back to kill more people. To kill more people. The whole well, point is to kill, basically. <laughs> we already know that. It's <laughs> sad enough that the fifth wave has to be the children. Killy kill kill. He's dead. He's just he's a good guy. I I am a believer. I think he is alive. I I'm don't say believe. It right now. I believe he is alive. <laughs> I don't believe he is definitely dead. Oh my god, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> So I read Chloe Mortet, Mortis, I'm sorry I'm butchering your name right now, Chloe, who played Cassie, did all her own stunts. Let's just, let's sink that in for a minute. She ran through woods. She shot guns. She did, tr like, she's Wonder Woman. She's amazing. Do you not think that? Like, do you think you could have put down the stunts? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'd break well, your legs. Uh, you know what? It. I feel like... You 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 run track, right? So you yeah, you'd so be good at that. But can you shoot a gun? We'll have to no. see. <laughs> we'll have to see later on. No, because we in fact, no and I did shoot <laughs> guns, <laughs> not real guns, paintball guns. Later on, it was yeah. it was not. I did not hit like any targets. At that, all. That's okay. Proof. So, moving on to like doing stunts and stuff. Do you guys think you could have survived in Camp Camp Haven? So that was a question from Instagram. Do you I think you could have done that? Wait, which one was Camp Haven? Was it like Camp Haven was the one where they were like, like training? Oh, no, so it's where Ben and the I squad was training. The gun at all, so probably not. So but if you were training to do so, do you think you could survive, or do you think you'd go, Dorothy, crazy, and get sent to the room? I think I would actually survive. I don't think I'd go crazy. I think I'd try to run away as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Bringer would have taken you down? Yeah. I think I would have... I feel like Ringer would have taken all of us down, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, ra I'd rather get taken down and probably killed than go through all of that personally. Yeah. yeah. Because after that, I'm like killing children, killing people, killing humans, your fellow friends, or like, what happens if your family's out there? Yeah. Well, that's true, true, you don't know. And they think you're an alien, and you think they yeah, are an alien. Yeah, because like the thing lit up, so it was... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm so blown. Like... blown. I know, right? Hey. Same deal. <laughs> yeah. So... Living in a world being destroyed like that, crazy. Do you Realistic. think, in your opinion, do you think that the zombie apocalypse or whatever apocalypse you think of, alien, anything, is actually possible? Well, do you um, believe in it? Well, there are actually, I, I remember kind of researching a little bit about it a little bit a long time ago. Um, there actually is uh, kind of like virus sort of thing, but created by humans. Yes that makes a human go into a zombie-like state, mm -hmm. but they don't want to bite off your flesh, they just want to destroy and kill. Okay. So, so it's, it's well, like it's kinda crazy. Like, um, that's kind of like the aliens, except yeah. like they kind were brainwashed, of. but like... They were brainwashed and they wanted the space, so they killed to get the space. So that is similar. Isn't space in the sky though? No, no like the space, no, you <laughs> right? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we wanted to know what it was like to be forced to soldiers. So we asked Brandon Zaluka to teach us what it would be like to use a weapon. Let's play that clip right now. Hey, my name's Brandon. Hi. How's it going? So we're going to be shooting paintball today, um, so you can kind of get a feel of what it's like to hold a, you know, marker, whatnot. Um, so just a few reminders, uh, face masks are always good. So we're looking down there and right there, and you're just pointing this target out here. Ah, close. Very <laughs> close. You got another one. Hey, here you go, here you go, alright. Yeah, try to, try to hold this nice and tight up against the side here, and then use the front hand, kind of hold your magazine well, there you go. Hey, that, I think that's another hit. That yeah, sounded like that it. That sounded like what? And then the front hand right there, beautiful. But you got the hang, right? Oh, there you go. Close, close. Hey! Nice. hey. Very good. 
So what do you guys think? <laughs> Pretty fun. Yeah. Didn't do bad. You got you got some small hits, which was a yeah. was very nice. But thank you for coming. Thank well, you. Yeah. So that was what we did, and it was really fun, as I said. Um, Bryce, you said you actually went to a camp before, and you got to shoot BB guns and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, during the summertime, I go to a Boy Scout camp and. I did shoot BB guns, and one of the years they did have different types of guns, rifles, handguns. Mm -hmm. um, the, I noticed the rifle was a lot easier to shoot than the BB gun, surprisingly, <laughs> and the handgun I couldn't even aim. Oh, you know, they used a lot of handguns in the movie, actually, for yeah. Good Wave. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. Teacup, she used a gun. <laughs> I know, and she was, I forget how old, but she was definitely, like... Fierce. She's fierce. That, that's that's the word I'm going to use to describe. She is fierce. Well, if, it, <laughs> if you really had to stay when you think you're going to either die, not die, something. <laughs> something uh, like that. If you just, if you have the feeling that something bad's going to happen, you really, you just do anything. Yeah. That's so if true. there's a gun nearby, if you have a gun and you feel like you're endangered, it comes part of you. Yeah. As said by Ringer. Best friend, comes right? Part of you. But yeah, we actually learned some interesting facts about the bullets we used, well, paintballs we used when we were oh, uh, yeah. shooting. Like the paintballs we used, they were the musket balls they used in the re uh, American Revolution. American or, Revolution, yeah. yeah. So that was kind of interesting, too. Yeah, it was interesting. I don't know if I could do that every day. I mean, I'm sure if I had training and I had a ringer <laughs> yeah. to show me how to do it, I probably would get the hang of it, but... I can barely master that or a Nerf gun. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. So, speaking of Ringer, maybe I could get a nickname like her. What would my nickname be? What do you guys think? Um, Emily. No, that's my, <laughs> thank you for naming me, but that's my name. So, what's like a good nickname that you would think of me? I don't know, because... Talky? <laughs> Talky? Oh, I get it. Cause, like, you're the host. <laughs> ha ha ha. Very funny, Bryce. I don't know. What would, I think yours would be Tuffy, Noah. You're Tuffy. <laughs> no, no. Yes, at you all. are. Well, well, I don't know what you would be. I can't. Well, can I, can I be named after my favorite, my favorite like, superhero? Not yeah, really superhero. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really like Deadpool. Okay. So, so my, my friends call me. I'm going to be sharp. You do like Dead Alien. <laughs> Mine's gonna be sharp because you saw what I post, what I did. So these targets behind us actually are the targets we actually shot at when we were doing the paintball. So uh, I made a few of these small ones, <laughs> if you can't see, um, but they're like right here. I made a few of these ones, and I also made the one over there, the one Noah's heads behind, and I also made another one by Bryce. So I think I would be called Sharp because I got a sharp shooting. Yes. Get it? If you don't, you but I you get it. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. But did you shoot ha, the one ha, ha. that close was close to the target? I shot not this one. No. So most of these ones were done by actually Brandon, but this, ah. that one right there was mine. <laughs> so, so speaking close. of nicknames, let's name some. Let's get some celebrities in here. Let's do, let's decide if the celebrity will survive or die first of all, and then their nickname. Well, Car mm -hmm. I think the Kardashians would all die. I think it's the <laughs> second wave. Or I think it was the first wave actually. Well, when all the electricity went out. That is true, but they're like bodybuilders. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. They're all like, so you always see them, and now I'm not sure if this is for, like, uh, social media's sake or something, or if they made a deal, but they are always working out or eating something healthy. And you don't know if that's just, like, now into their, like, their memory, and they always do it, muscle memory. But they're, like, they're strong. Yeah. So, so I mean, I feel like they would, they would lose. Yeah, they get infected. Lose, they, mm, Maybe. Maybe. That was like, I feel like you couldn't decide if they would get infected. It would just happen. Yeah, right? like yeah. You, you got those people who don't get infected, get infected, get infected, but survive it. Yeah. You wonder if like their security guards or something got infected and then got them infected. Oh, yeah, that's true. That could happen. Or and then... Like maids or something. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. You know who I think could survive it? Um, I think when he was younger, Harrison Ford, because oh, yeah. he did his own stunts. He did. Oh, yeah, and true. I just think he'd survive. Chloe would survive. <laughs> Chloe, obviously. <laughs> she, she plays... 
That's what I'm it's saying. It's like, you know, it's like, no. They're going to make her character in the movie survive, but not the actual celebrity. That, She's, that's of separate. course, going to survive. But she is. She used to do her stunts when she was younger, too. Because she was in another movie, and she did, like, all these flips. And she actually shot a gun back then. So she had experience to do it. Experience. That's what you need. What about Harry Styles? Dead. He, he's dead. He's, he's going to lose it when he loses all of his hair products. That yes. is just a given. But if his nickname was something, I'd say his nickname would be Curly. Like, without a doubt, Curly. Or Harry. Harry. Well, <laughs> that's his name. Well, yeah, but Even though his real like name is, like, Harry, Harold or something. I mean, like, Harry, like, your hair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> No, I, I'd be afraid to see kind of what would happen. <laughs> like, just, yeah. Okay, what about Justin Bieber? Oh, God, no. He's dead. He's, He's definitely dead. dead. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be dead Do you think he would still be popular, though? Oh, before the first... Oh. Yeah, or he would get... He would probably die, because doesn't he live in, like, the coast? So, like, the tidal wave. Oh, yeah. Think oh, of yeah. that, because lots of the celebrities live in, like, California or some... We would be dead, because <laughs> we live on the coast. Yeah. Oh, that's Run for sad. the hills. They also live out in Britain, and Britain, you saw. Oh, yeah. London House. Oh, yeah. Crushed in the waves in the movie, you see that. But, well, you so, could survive that. Do you think you'd ever survive, like, any of the waves, the fifth wave, any of them? Do you well, think you I'd would survive? Well, I'd survive, um, like, the first wave, because... A lot of people could, unless they were really serious about electronics, <laughs> and <laughs> I can't right post this on Instagram. <laughs> like, what's wrong? Well, the whole entire, like, social media would be down. Yeah. But you wonder if in, like, the book, if the aliens actually took all of your information after that. Oh, you know yeah, how, like, true. everything shut down, but they still had power? Yeah, because they wonder could, if like, they took find my knowledge. out your phone, like, find my iPhone or something. They could, like, do that. Even if it's shut down. Yeah. And if it's still on you. Oh, there are some hints. Fifth wave movie people. <laughs> yeah, if you want to <laughs> ever invade Earth, here's how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> here's how to do it. We'll have a... You know what? <laughs> you know what? Probably, probably come up. Stuff to yeah. You know what probably end up going through the entire electric thing? The last thing people expect? What? Flip phones. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Oh, and yeah, like, maybe you know like those, all like, the flip phones could what, survive. What about those phones that um, are like hooked up to the wall, but they're like the ones that where you like... Oh, I know yeah, what you're talking about. Those ones still work, even if the power's out. Because I remember, I learned that today in social studies, actually. Even when those like dials, it turns out. Oh, yeah. Like, nah, nah, it takes too long to do that. It does take too long. But you know what? If it works, if it works. If you can call someone, then it's worth it. Call yeah. the internet. So, just to remind you guys, the first wave was no electricity. The second wave was tidal waves. The third wave was plague by birds. The fourth was the silencer, others. And the fifth wave was using humans, or really the children, to turn against one another because the aliens thought they were so vulnerable. They decided to trick the children into killing themselves. And green really meant human, but, you know, they didn't know that because they were tricked. So what wave would kill you mm. personally? Um, Think about yourself personally. I feel like the wave that would kill me would probably be the children one because oh, I yeah. feel like I would be tricked instantly. Because, yeah. you know, they gave... They had good reasons why we would think green would become like you are human if you're green. Yeah, but a lot of people, some aliens are gray, so. Mm. There we go. Yeah. So that's I think I would reason. die in that way too because I would like be out in the woods or something and then I would mm. find someone and be like, hi, and then I would get shot. That's another thing. Like when you grow up, you're outside a lot. If you know, you live in like suburbs like we do. I think. Can you just go underground? Oh, yeah. Under you can't get, you can't, no one can get your heat transfer really underground because. You like the, it's so cold. I, yeah, but how are you supposed to get food? How are you supposed to get water? How are you supposed to get that stuff? Um, you could probably trap animals with holes. <laughs> but all like the animals will be gone. Or infected. The um, only ones that won't be are the birds. Or they'll be infected. Oh, stuff. yeah. You don't you wonder, eat them. You, you wonder if the animals actually got infected with the disease. Probably Because they not. never mention anything about the animals. They Animal only mention uprising. things about the humans. Yeah. Next. And, and you wonder if that's going to come in, like, the second and third book. What's going to happen to the animals? Oh, yeah. They could, like, they could trick be, them. They could. Or um, this happened in another book I read. What could happen is they could get mutated from oh, yeah. all the infection. I'm sure their ship's causing, causing so... Like, they in, in uh, was it the... One of the chapters, they said that the... Yeah, the first chapter of the next book, it mm -hmm. says the waters were gray or something like that. Yeah. That means pollution of some sorts. Mm -hmm. And as high, so that means a lot of like things happening to these animals that could cause a bunny to be your next <laughs> thing that kills you. <laughs> oh, so 
So the teddy bear was a very important symbol, Sammy's teddy bear. He even had his own Wikia page, character page. So what object would help you keep comfort during the apocalypse? Well, personally, myself, I would take my guinea pig everywhere with me. <laughs> you would He's, fight for him? Yes, I would. Fight for fight. I would not even take care of myself. All I would take <laughs> care of was my guinea pig, O'Malley. Like, oh. nothing matters but him. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, he would That's quite a good the bond. whole thing. Yeah. I feel like the thing I would probably carry to, like, keep me going and motivate and stuff would probably either be pictures of my friends or I'd drag my friends along with me. <laughs> I'd be like, hey guys, let's go. We'll be a team. Let's not get caught by aliens. Right. <laughs> what about you, Bryce? Well, originally I thought um, I'd probably bring a weapon with me. I have my pocket knife, and it means a lot to me because someone gave me that when I lost my original one. Yeah. Um, but if it also depends. Can I bring people with me, too? Like, I'd right. probably bring my mom if she was okay. Yeah. Well, I don't need people. I have my guinea pig, so... <laughs> Guinea pig's all I need. That's all You're I'm starving, guinea pig, I'm all good. Never on earth would I eat him. <laughs> oh, that would be horrible. Well, if you start There's not even enough meat. No, I don't even care. <laughs> I would, like, open the cage, and I'd be like, be free, don't die. And then I would die and let him go. Oh. I would not let him die. No. I have Best friend. And then I would be like, my ghost would protect him. Um, I would follow him around, and, like, anyone who came near him, I'd be like, go away. <laughs> Yeah. They could just walk right through you. Okay, so let's move on to trivia. So we oh got some God. trivia for you guys. So you guys have markers under your chair. I'm going to pass you some paddle boards. Pass this one Both. down. So I'm, I'm going to see the question first, and I'm going to give you four answers, and they're going to be A, B, C, and D, and then hold up what letter you think is the correct answer. Okay. So the first question is, what bird is present when an unborn baby is infected with an alien in the prologue of the book. You guys got like five, should I give you five seconds? Or do you well, want you 10 seconds? Like the, you didn't oh, tell us like that. Oh, I didn't tell you that. Forgot the main part. <laughs> I forgot the main part. Okay, so your choices are A, sparrow, B, owl, C, vulture, or D, eagle. Okay, five, four, you know what, hold it up when you have it. That's easier. B, B. Correct. It was an owl. Yay. One okay. point each. Question one two. Point. Who turns out to be the silencer who shot Casey? Yes. Cassie. Excuse me, Cassie. <laughs> A, Evan. B, Ringer. C, Ben. Or D, Flintstone. <laughs> Flintstone. Sure. I think I know why. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's definitely Flintstone, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Right? Okay. C, Ben? C, Ben? No. no. You guys! Oh did you not pay attention? It was Evan! Oh my god, that would have been my second. I, thought, I first thought it was Flintstone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. See, Evan, he was sent to kill Cassie and all the other people. Ben and Evan, so. But he didn't kill her. That whole concept after it, it just got so confusing. I know. I remember, like, just taking notes, like, what is going on? Who's doing this now? Yeah, but now? I think, like, when I got further, when you find out, like, he's working with the people, like, it made sense. Yeah. Because, like, they didn't tell you about his backstory at that part. No, and he kept, in all the stuff that really didn't make sense. Yeah. Like, just the little details, like his hands, Cassie mentioned. Case, Cassie. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep messing that up right now. Okay, so what is Cassie's full name? Is it Kashmir? A, B, Cassiopeia, C, Cassidy, or D, Cassandra? Five. Oh, no. Four, no, I need to make three, three, three D letters. Okay. Oh. No, well, you got it right. It's Cassiopeia. Yeah. yeah. She was named after a star. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Like, I wish I had some kind of meaning like that in my yeah, name. Yeah, that'd be so cool. That'd be really cool. It's like, where'd you get your name from? Oh, I was named after a star. Yeah, but wasn't that a bad story? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah that like was just, the, she didn't like her name. I, I feel like the story with that, like, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I don't she know. didn't like her name because, um, the, I guess the Greeks or something um, created that story and then it was Constellation. She was named after a Constellation. And like it did something bad, or like, something yeah, was and bad a god sent her up into the sky. Yeah, so oh. basically, she's named after uh, a constellation that's been bad. 
Bad Maybe you guys should be asking these questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So who destroys the underground bunker of Camp Haven? Is it A, Ben, B, Evan, C, Cassie, or D, Bosch? Bosch. It's like five. No, I four, need three letters. Three. Three D. Oh, okay, B. You guys got it right. Yes. Seven. Nice point. job. You're winning. We're not keeping score, are we? I am. I am. Oh, you are? <laughs> oh, okay. It's competition. Competition's on, yeah. guys. So, who is Parker? Is he A, the leader of the alien movements? B, the leader of the human movement? C, the soldier who cares for the kids on the buses? And D, Cassie's brother? Um. Three, two, yeah. one. There's A. <laughs> See. Oh. Noah got it right. You're two points ahead of me. <laughs> I know. I'm I didn't even catch up. Don't worry about it. So who does Cassie have a crush on before the alien movement? Is it A, Evan Walker? The page is stuck together. <laughs> this that has to happen in the middle. Okay. Is it B, Marshall Peters? C, Ben Parrish? Or D, Tommy Walton? <laughs> You guys ready? Sure. B. Noah, you got it again. <laughs> oh, come Sorry, on. Bryce. Were those even? I think those were names that were just like made up. You know, I don't think they were actually even. It wasn't Evan in it. Like, well, but it only mentions like two parts. No, at the beginning it mentions it a lot, but then you go through the book and they're like, okay. Yeah, but isn't Ben the guy who? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, after after the fact. After the fact. Okay, so let's keep going. What is Cassie doing when the EMP shuts off the electricity? Is she eating? A. Texting? B. C. Sleeping? Or D. Reading? <laughs> Guys are correct. She was texting. Yes. I'm sorry, that's all the trivia we got. Oh, man. So that means Noah won. <laughs> if we were keeping track, I guess Noah won. What do I win? <laughs> no, Bragging rights. <laughs> Bragging rights, yeah. That's true. Okay, so what did you guys think of the ending of the fifth wave? Infested being soldiers and the doctor committing suicide? Where do you think it was, where do you think it's going to go? Like the third book when it comes out May 24th. Well, um, wait, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go. But... I think at the end, it was like almost winter, so they were like getting ready. They were saying how they were gonna get ready for winter, mm -hmm. because like, you know, when winter comes, there's gonna, not gonna be a lot of food, yes. and like it'll get really cold. Yeah. So I think the next book will be about how they're like really cold, but they're also gonna be trying to find Evan. Yes, I hope I hope that happens. I hope Evan. Find his dead body. He's, he's not dead. dead. He he's is dead. not dead. I feel like the whole concept about being the infested and them being the soldiers, it really tied together, and that's what I loved about it so much. Yeah. Because it's like that feeling when you finally understand everything and it's all coming together, and you're like, yes, But then get the it. ending, you, like, didn't expect at the same time. That is true. Mm -hmm. uh, that, at the same time. Did you guys know all along? No. Did I, you guys, no. did you have any hints? I had no, no. idea. I was like... Did you just keep I honestly, I agree. I thought it was like, okay, these kids are just going to... Crazy. Just the place. <laughs> I thought they are just going to wipe it. out everybody. I know. I thought it was like actual aliens coming down. But... No. They are actual aliens well, coming I down. <laughs> yeah. That confused me, too. It was really bad. When I watched the movie, I saw all this dust coming, and they explained it as the bus coming. But I didn't think that. I thought actual aliens were coming. Even though I read the book, obviously, but it kind of scared me the I way know. they, like, filmed it that way. So, um, do you think they'll make sequels to the movies? You skipped him. Yeah, you skipped him. You didn't even I ask skipped him. you? Well, then <laughs> go ahead. Ask him what hey. um, in the next book, I think, I similar with the winter thing, but I don't think that's going to be the whole book. I just been... Just with them trying to run I think that they're just going to go on and try to defeat the aliens throughout the next books. Yeah. Look. And I also think there's definitely going to be sequels. There's no way they're not going to make sequels to that movie. They made sequels to Divergent. They made sequels to The Maze Runner. They're going to make sequels to this. It's yeah. just a given. Let's yeah. hope it's good sequels. I know. I know. Let's hope it's good, too. They were, honestly, she was amazing. I don't know how people are so mad about it. I know. And mm. It's 
aggravating to know that people would just watch the movie and forget about the book and judge it based off of that. Well, like, but it's because they don't read the book. They don't understand yeah. what it is... It was so accurate, too. <sighs> yes. It well, actually followed along, even though some of the parts were shortened just because right. time. Like, if you notice in some parts, it did say the teddy bear got its arm Oh, and the movie didn't happen. And then the movie didn't have that, yeah. But you know what? It's okay. Those are the little things. Good acting, that's all that yeah. matters. Yes. I don't think lots of people liked it because they thought it was like actual aliens. They didn't yeah. think it was going to be... No green guys. No, yeah. No, okay. Well, that's all for today's show. Join us in September for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Until then, send your program ideas to Reverent Rant Repeat on Instagram. I'm Emily Baldoni. Keep reading and ranting. Thank mm -hmm. you.